Hi kids, I hope you all are healthy and happy. I Jyoti welcome you all to our keep your online classes, and today we will be studying about our unit nine of our behave book, and the name of our unit is the bond of love, and it is written by Kenneth Anderson. So Kenneth Anderson is Indian bond writer. Though he is not Indian, but he is born in he was born in India. He is Indian born, and he is a writer. Along with being a writer, besides being a writer, he is and he is a hunter as well. He is a writer and a hunter. Yeah, and what does? what has he written in all his books about the adventures of hunting about his experience that he had in hunting so most of his works are composed of his experiences or adventures that he had while his hunting trips so he is he is an indian born and a writer and a hunter So everyone now open your behave books at page number one hundred thirty. Hurry up, page number one hundred one hundred thirteen. Be ready with your pencil and your books. Everyone knows what for you are you going to use your pencil? You have to underline the main points and you have to write the meanings of the words that you find difficult. Clear? So I hope everyone is ready with the pencil and books at page number one hundred thirty. So let us let us start with before you read. Everyone focus on the books now. Get ready with the pencil. So now we have. Can there be love and friendship between human beings and wild animals? That means the bond of love. The bond. Love. Everyone knows it is a feeling. that we feel for our friends that we feel for our parents for our relatives for our siblings for our cousins so it is a feeling it is a sweet feeling that makes us happy it shows us that we are caring for someone clear now bond it is it means agreement bond means agreement now before the from the first line of before you read you can make out what the chapter is going to have a bond between a human being and an animal let's move forward and that to wild animal wild animals are said that they can't be tamed easily tamed means they can't be domesticated they can't be tamed or they can't be domesticated everyone must be knowing domestic animals the animals that we have as pet at our homes so they are domesticated by us so wild animals can't be domesticated or tamed it is really hard to tame though we find some of the animals being tamed in circuses but that is not very easy that is that is not a cup of tea for each and every one so we have let's read a fascinating account of an orphan sloth bear orphan orphan means you get a word often often means when a person or when an animal loses both his parents both parents are no more both the parents are no more so that child or that animal is called that is being said to be often He is, and we are talking of a sloth bear. Now, what is what does the word sloth means? Sloth. They are slow moving animals, and usually they hang on the branches. Everyone must have seen how animal how monkey hangs. He hangs with his hands. But if here we have a branch, and if an animal, if a and if an Here we have a branch, and if an animal is hanging with both the hands here and both the legs are also here, and he is hanging in this way, this is how the sloth bears hang, and they feed on the fruits and leaves of the trees. 
so we are talking of orphan sloth bear that was rescued by the author rescued means save he was the animal the sloth bear who was orphaned was rescued by the author clear so let's move on to the next point now so our next point says sloth bears inhabit forested areas now forest everyone knows is noun forest so here it is used as a verb forested areas the areas where we find trees that is covered with at a large area with trees including the tropical rainforests of india and grasslands at lower elevations now we find a word elevation what does the word elevation means we are talking of altitude or you can say height everyone must have studied about height in maths or you can generally say this tree is really high that means we are talking about high of height of the tree so height is a strict noun that has been derived from the word high clear so elevation means altitude or we can say height so we are talking of lower elevations means if we talk of the sea level suppose this is the sea level the height above the sea level is very less so we are saying that the elevation is low or it is lower elevation so here we are told that about the about the areas where sloth bears are found or the areas that are a habitat that work as a habitat for the sloth bears so they are found at lower elevations in the forested areas sloth bears have very shaggy hair shaggy everyone knows like suppose you are driving in, on a bike you are not wearing your helmet and because of this air because of the wind blowing when seems when we drive a bike we it seems that the wind is blowing so because of that air because of the velocity of the air we find our hairs got tangled knots are formed or we have combed them but if they are not combed uncombed hairs are called shaggy hairs uncombed hairs are called shaggy hairs you can say uncombed hairs and long muzzles now what is a muzzle everyone must have seen wild animals their nose is somewhat out of the mouth means it, it seems that it is about to fall so it is called are they are called muzzles when the lips area and the nose area if it is somewhat outside it is projecting outside so it is called muzzle using their claws to dig they can then use the lips to form a tube now we are told what do the sloth bears do so they are to we are told that they use their claws claws means here the leg is there and here we find sharp nails of the animal so this is called their claws so they use their claws to dig as their nails are sharp so they dig the land very easily and how do they use their lips they suppose this is the lip they will form it in this way to form it and give it a shape of a tube and what is that shape used for we are told uh, further which can go deep into the ground or into a hard to reach area hard to reach as the word itself suggests the area where it is really difficult to reach and to the ground or into sorry i repeated the line into hard to reach areas like dead trees for their food their main food is termites so what are they, what do they feed on they feed on termites termites are white ants white ants are called termites and where do you find them uh, i'll use a hindi word for them uh, everyone must have heard about dima that is termites or we can say white ants 
so they are found obviously where wood is present we will find termites so the sloth bears use their lips they form they give them a form of a tube so that they can suck the termites out of the wood clear as everyone knows we use a straw to suck it everyone knows we suck the cold drink through the tube similarly the bear uses its lips in a form gives them a form of a tube and uses them to suck the termites as it is its as the termites are its food moving further we can have we have you can hear them suck up their food from several feet away and the sound that is made while sucking the termites can be heard from a great distance away clear so i hope the introduction given is clear we are clear about what the sloth bear are and how they feed on where they live everything is clear about that so now let's move on to our paragraph number 1 we have i will begin with bruno my wife's pet sloth bear now the name given to the sloth bear is bruno it is bruno i got him for her by mistake by accident by accident means by chance when you have not planned anything and something something happens suppose you are going to market clear and you just have the idea that yeah i have to bring this book i have to bring this thing i have to make my project so all these things are going in your mind and you are walking and suddenly your friend comes before you and he stands like this so you met him by accident you have not planned the meeting so that is by accident or by chance so he says that he got bruno he got the sloth bear by chance or by accident two years ago we were passing through the sugarcane fields near mysore people were driving away the wild pigs from the fields by shooting at them now why are the wild bears drived away why are they drived away by the public because we everyone knows that if in a field crop is there if any animal will enter the animal will eat half of the crop and the rest crop or rest of the crop will be destroyed so to protect the crops they were driving away the wild pigs some were shot and some escaped and how they were driving away they were having a gun they were shooting them some ran away who escaped the shot and those who were shot they fell dead at that very place we thought that everything was over when suddenly a black sort bear came out panting in the hot sun panting means losing breath losing breath when you are finding it hard to have it's hard to inhale how do you when do you experience this thing suppose you have been running for 5 minutes and you bend this way and you open your mouth to take the breath to breathe you open your mouth you are losing the breath you say just hold a minute let me have a breath first let me breathe a bit first then i'll see because if you are not taking that breath due to panting you won't be able to speak even clear so he is telling that when it was all happening when the wild pigs were being shot so here what happened they saw a sloth bear came before them and the bear was panting and it was also hot sun means it was scorching heat in the form as well we had the word scorching very hot extremely hot so the bear came before them now i will not shoot a sloth bear wantonly now the what did the author say he said that i will not shoot him the bear that is standing before us i will not shoot wantonly what does wantonly means without any purpose they didn't have any motive without any purpose why were they shooting wild pigs because they were destroying the crops but the wild bear has not done the wild bear has done nothing to them so he said that i have no reason of killing 
I have no reason of shooting this lot bear, so I am not going to shoot. But unfortunately for the poor beast, one of my companions did not feel that way about it and promptly shot the bear on the spot. Now he is saying that when I said this, it was really unfortunate. Unfortunate means unlucky. It was really unfortunate for the bear as one of my companion, one of the members who was with the poet, he shot the bear. Clear? He shot the beer at that very time when he was saying. So promptly means without any delay. Promptly means without any delay. Promptly. So he shot the beer without any delay. So it was really unlucky for the sloth beer to have been as it has been killed by the companion of the author without any specific purpose. We can say that they were in the form of shooting as they were killing the wild girls. So they already had that thought of blood on their mind. So they were shooting it. So we can say in a moment, in the intensity of the moment, he might have shot the sloth beer. But it all this all happened without any delay. Clear? So next we have paragraph number 3. As we watched the fallen animal, we were surprised. What, who is the fallen animal? Fallen animal is the sloth bear. The fallen animal is the sloth bear that was shot by the companion of the writer. So we were surprised to see that the black fur on its back moved. And left the prostrate body. Now what was happening as the bear fall? Suppose this is the ground and the bear was standing over here. And as it was shot, it fall down. Clear? And as it fall down, its body should not move. Because it is dead now. It is having non-life. But we notice that the fur of the bear, there was movement on in it. The fur, fur was moving. And what we notice is that something came out that, of that fur and it ran away. Clear? What was it now? Now what is the meaning of prostrate? Here we have a word prostrate. So prostrate means dead body lying on the ground. It is lying on the face. Lying on the face means if your face is on the ground and your back is up. Clear? That is called lying on the face or prostrate. So they said that the poet is saying that something left that fur. Then we saw it was baby beer. And what they noticed is that it was a baby beer. That means the sloth beer was carrying its baby on its back. And the baby was still on its back when the when the sloth beer was shot by one of the companions. That had been writing on his mother's back when the sudden shot had killed her. Sudden shot means without any delay. It was shot. The little creature ran around its prostrate parent making a pitiful noise. Now what if you are have to lose your parents? When we are a child, even when we have to go to our maternal uncle's house. Getting separated, even that cause makes us cry sometimes. So now the mother was dead of the baby. Obviously, it will be feeling pity. He, the situation of the beer must be pitiable because he has lost his family. All he had to depend upon was his mother or his parent. Whether it was male or female, we are not clear about it. But all that he had has been lost in just a turn of second. So he, the baby bear was round making, taking turns. He was running around the body that was falling on the ground. And he was making pitiful noise. He was crying for the parent. I ran up to it to attempt a capture. Attempt a capture means to get hold of it. 
to take him in our custody to take the bear in our custody i made an attempt i tried it scooted into a sugarcane field and as we ran towards it the baby baby bear also ran and he ran away into the sugarcane field following it with my companions i was at last able to grab it grab it means to hold it by the scruff of its neck now what does scruff means scruff means back of our neck scruff of its neck means back of the neck back of the neck so they got hold of the bear and they hold it at this position we can say it is scruff of the neck while it snap snap means to attack with the mouth mouth is open and he is trying to bite try to scratch me scratch everyone must be knowing like if your hands are nails are in this way and you do this way so this is scratching or everyone must know scratch when we get scratch on our bikes or on our car even we can say with its long hooked claws so its claws were hooked hooked means in the shape of a hook this is obviously the shape of a hook so his claws were in this position and he scratch means he attacked with his claws in this way and he tried to scratch the author and his friends or his companions coming to page paragraph number 5th we have we put it on we put it in one of the gunny bags we had bought and when i got back to bangalore i duly presented it to my wife she was delighted she was she at once put a colored ribbon around its neck and after discovering the cub was a boy she christened it bruno now what happened they put the bear into one of the gunny bags that they had brought gunny bags can be of this shape they are and we put something in it and we tie them over here and we make a knot here so that something doesn't come outside it so he is saying that we put it, the bear into the gunny bag and when i went came back to bangalore i gave it as a present to my wife and how did his wife welcome the bear she welcomed it very happy she was very delighted to receive the bear as a gift and in uh, in expression of love she tied a ribbon around its neck and she when she discovered that the bear was a boy she christened it christen means named it she named the bear bruno the bear was named bruno he was given a name by the by the wife of the author so next we have paragraph number 6 but we will be doing the paragraph number 6 in our next class so that is all for today we will be reading further in our next class thank you